everybody, this is Tambiota and you're watching the Masterpiece Theater. So today I have MP33 Inferno, uh, Cybertronian Seek and Rescue. Right, and you can see the box, uh, it's a little bit larger box than um, some of the normal car figures. This is, a, a, I would say, a medium sized figure. Uh, they have him, as of right now, they have him, uh, Grapple, and uh, what's Art Fire that are out uh, for this mold. So, all right. So starting with Inferno and his box, uh, you can see him in both his fire truck mode and his uh, his alt mode, or I'm sorry, that's his alt mode, his robot mode. Um. Uh, come around to the side and uh, you see him with his uh, his water sprayer and then there's a picture of him in his uh, vehicle mode and coming to the back you can see all the different uh, different things that are in there for him uh, there's some stuff here I have no idea what it says uh, you can see him his fire truck mode uh, ladder extended he has the the nozzle up and the water spraying out uh, there's a picture of him uh, basically is a size comparison picture so he's about as tall as uh, mp10 optimus and this is uh, red alert right here along with him so that's the that's a fire chief right there um, so we have uh, him with uh, uh, one of his guns uh, here he is with uh, his, uh, his nozzle and uh, water coming out. Now you have uh, two different types, or actually there's three different types of chest plates. So you have uh, the chest plate um, that's anime accurate and toy accurate, and you have two types of nozzles. So you have a chrome nozzle and you have a regular gray nozzle. And then there is one more chest plate that allows you to uh, um, basically it has a, uh, a, a chair type thing in there so you can put red alert and you can carry him around. Um, this right here is basically showing that, um, uh, uh, that the ladder stores away, uh, that you don't have a ladder on the back. He has a bunch of different faces, uh, a bunch of different options for faces. So you have, uh, um, some of the toy faces and I believe it's the uh, cartoon faces. See, here's the, uh. The, the what all is contained within the box and you can see there's the uh the extra the extra chair type mounting uh, uh front panel uh sticker sheet all kinds of stuff in here see that there's some stuff there oh it says they can use an action stand so Unfortunately, those things are hard to find now. Uh, I used to be able to see them. I used to see them all the time, uh, especially when I would go up to Toy Dojo, but now I like, hardly ever see them. So let's go ahead and uh, get the box open so we can check out the figure. All right, so here's Inferno. And uh, he's very red. <laughs> uh, so I already have the, uh, the regular chest plate on him. And I have his gun and his nozzle attached, his chrome nozzle attached. So here are his extra accessories. So you can see this is the anime and the uh, the anime nozzle and uh, uh, front bumper. Now you have a bunch of different uh, different face plates uh, face plates for him. So you have three optional extra face plates and then a different uh, helmet. Uh, so you have the water effect and then underneath that is a hose. And then this is the carrying. Um, that carrying uh, chair type thing where you can have red alert in there and like he's uh, he's carrying him out. Um, so I think inside of him I have those extra pieces. Um, so inside these arm things I should have, yeah, see I do have them. Um, I have the extra, um, these are like viewfinders or something. So you can take these and you can attach them right here on the side of the arm. Right, that fell on the floor. 
on the side of the arm, so you can kind of do this like he's talking to somebody. Man, I have no idea where that piece went. Oh, there it is. I didn't see where it fell. And really, you can put that on either arm. Uh, there's spots for them on both arms. And I think, uh, oh, I think the reason that I put that on that arm is because the uh, the nozzle, um, I have the nozzle out on this one, and uh, I think the hand takes up the spot where I would be able to put that piece at. No, it doesn't have it on this one. So the nozzle can just go right back in there. You flip this out, and then you have his extra hand. Now you can see that the nozzle does stick out, out here, but if you just, you know, it has a, it has a spot cut out, unlike this arm. So for the heads, uh, to replace those, you just, you're basically going to pull up on this or you pull forward on it. I think that's what it was. Yeah. You pull forward on it. It removes the helmet and then you have a face plate here and you pull that forward and you have the face plate. And this is the alternate helmet. Oh, let's see here. But um, maybe that won't go. Oh, that's why it wouldn't go. So if you look at the, the two different faces, you can see this one has uh, some spikes that kind of come out the side and it won't allow, that won't go into the, uh, the head that I was trying to use. Okay. Yeah, that won't go into there. So uh, it does seem like certain face plates will only go with certain helmets. I never really messed with that uh, before. Um, I just basically took them out, transformed them a couple times, and put them on display. So here's the extra nozzle, and it's not just a plastic. It has kind of a pearlesque. Um, type shine to it and if you wanted to you can just open this up I'll flip this hand back in flip this back out and you pull that off and then you can just attach this so you have that and then uh, for the for the uh, the plate, it's just this bottom portion right here. You just pull on that, and now he's cartoon accurate. So, I don't know. I may have to change the helmet, but the uh, the the panel and. Uh, Man, but you lose so much, uh, so much detail whenever you take and put the anime accurate version of it on there.
right, so let's go ahead and get him into his uh, his fire truck mode, and uh, I'll be right back. All right, so we're back, and here's Inferno in his uh, his alt mode, his fire truck mode, and uh, dang, so it, it's a, it's a nice transformation. I've transformed him a few times, and I still need to use his instructions. Uh, if I haven't done it for a while, uh, there's a, a lot of pieces that have a, not a lot of uh, clearance, uh, not a lot of tolerances for clearances, and uh, so you have to kind of move stuff around and and, and figure it out again. And that that's what took me a little longer to uh, to transform him, but. Everything looks good on him. I uh, I do like the chrome everywhere on him, and uh, the, the the especially the mechanism with the way that the ladder. Um, oops, you can kind of see it right there. I think that joint's getting a little weak. Because mm. here's a second. I don't know if I want to bend that or not. I don't think I should. Yeah, there we go. So that's the second bin. Um, so the whole ladder collapses in on itself, and then you can break it like that, and it goes into here, into the back. So, and that's how it stores away, which is it's a really ingenious type of uh, type of engineering. It scared me the first time I transformed them uh, because I was like. There's no way that this will uh, that this will go. Uh, you know, I was just thinking. You know, this thing is just gonna break. And here we go. Ah, oh, dang. But it didn't. So here we still have a figure. And uh, I don't think that this gun actually goes anywhere. I don't think that it. it it can store anywhere. Well, it could store on his back um, whenever he was in robot mode, but in this mode, I don't think so. Oops. I missed something. I missed a step. <clears throat> I, this is a step that I usually miss. Just forgetting to uh, pop in those feelers right there. Um, so there's a, a few things with this mode, um, like with the ladder, it has uh, it has these like little hydraulic things on there to make it look like it's uh, moving up and down. Um, there's a water cannon inside of here. Let me see if I can figure out how to get that open. You can bring it out to the top of the ladder um, or if you want to you can actually push it through the front of the ladder and have it coming out like that Um, other than that, this does not turn. It doesn't move. Uh, it just goes up and down. And then you can extend and contract the, uh, the ladder pieces. Um, this piece right here will come down. So you can take these, uh, these pieces. I think they come out too. Yeah, they come out. And these are basically just, uh, stabilizers to keep it from tipping over. So it has that. This comes down too. And that's what it's used for. So whenever you turn the ladder, it doesn't it doesn't tip over uh, when you have weight on it. Um, the only thing I wish they would have done is with the figure of this size, 
they really should have used rubber wheels. Uh, they they went back to the plastic again, and I uh, I don't really care for it. I, I think with this being a masterpiece line, I, I think that they could have went the, a little bit of the extra way and and given us rubber tires for these instead of giving us some a bunch of weird accessories, especially the accessory of um, being able to hold iron hide, or not iron hide, being able to hold uh, um, uh, red alert. I, I don't understand that. It, it's fun, but I would have rather had uh, rubber tires than that. All right, well, that's gonna do it for the review of um, Inferno, Masterpiece Inferno. Don't forget, I'm on Facebook. If you haven't already subscribed, please do. If you have already, then like always, Every single day, I'll see you tomorrow.